Hey sketchy friends, Taria from Taria's Sketchy Adventures, this channel, and UrbanSketchingWorld.com, my blog about urban sketching. Um, if you like what you're seeing in this video, do check out my channel afterwards and you'll find more on ink and watercolour, sketching there, um, urban and travel sketching, and just general sketchbook shenanigans. So do check it out after this video. And if you like what you see, please do consider subscribing. In today's video, I want to share with you some of my favourite current people sketches here in 2022. Their work just inspires me so much and it just makes me want to grab my sketchbook and go and sketch the wildlife. And by that, I mean people. People sketching is a major area that I want to improve on. I feel like I've been saying that for the last couple of years now, but I really want to make a concerted effort to get better at sketching people when I'm out on location. I know that I can sketch people because I can do it from photos, but I just struggle when it comes to capturing people in sort of daily life and in motion and that kind of thing. So I really want to build up my confidence being able to capture people out on location. So I thought to myself, how can I practice at home? So I'm not always reliant on practicing in the moment when I'm out on location. And I started sort of getting some video clips together over the years that I'd taken that have people in them and practicing from those video clips. And then I thought, if this is helping me practice from home, then maybe this would help other people. So I've actually started building a reference library of video clips from not only my videos, my personal collection of videos, but from people all over the world. So all kinds of people doing all kinds of things. And I'm finally ready to announce to you guys that I am able to share this with you. So I've built a website um, with the library of video clips, which I'm adding to you on a regular basis. And you can find it over on peoplesketching.com. I am asking for a small monthly fee to access the library. So US $5. This is just simply to pay for web hosting, for video hosting, which is really expensive, by the way, um, for administration. Um, it takes a lot to gather the clips, edit them, put them up on the site. And also I'm paying people to provide me video clips from all over the world as well. So if that's something you're interested in helping me with, if you want to contribute video clips to the site, do get in touch, taria at urbansketchingworld.com. But otherwise guys, do go and check the site out and I'd really love your feedback. And if there's anything you think I could improve on or do differently or that would help you more with people sketching, then just let me know. So there are a few other bits and bobs on the website. There's a resources page that kind of gathers together some of my favorite resources on people sketching. So things like YouTube videos, uh, books, um, courses from places like Domestica, Craftsy, Etcher, that kind of thing. I also have an inspiration wall as well where I've collected together some of my favorite sketches from some of my favorite people sketches. So that brings me on to the video today. I have made a video previously about the subject matter, people sketches to follow, but I think that was back in 2020. And I suspect that you probably knew of most of the people on that list. However, today's video is some of my slightly newer, either this year or one of them I've known about for a while, but I didn't mention in that original video. So I really wanted to include them in this one. So there might be a couple that you're already aware of, but I'm pretty sure that there'll be some new people on the list as well. So I just really want to share their work with you because it's, yeah, it just inspires me so much. And I want to share that passion with you as well. So if you want to go and check out the original video, the link is in the corner here. But otherwise, stick with me and let's check out some awesome people sketches. Okay, first on my list is Jan Kebi. Jan is a French artist and he is from Paris. He's represented by Heart Agency. And I discovered his work by accident on Pinterest on one of my scrolling binges. <laughs> I think I have saved so many of his sketches. I just see more and more and more of his work when I log in, but that's totally fine by me. 
I love Jan's sense of playfulness. He has featured heavily as an example of playful sketching style during our theme of the month over on Patreon. By the way, if you want to check out Patreon, then link is in the description below. And he tends to use brightly colored pencils in sort of a scribbly fashion and on an an ivory colored paper, something that you would tend to see in like a moleskin or something. And whenever I see a sketch by him, I think that's Jan Kebby for sure. I Like, I just know without looking. He's just got such a distinctive style. So according to the write-up on his agency website, he's a prolific sketcher. And perhaps that's why I see so much of his work on Pinterest. And he's also got a blog as well, which is kind of old now. I don't think he's updated it for eight years or so, but it's got four years worth of his sketching over there. So sort of from 2012 to the end of 2015. So I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check that out. Jan's seemingly sort of carefree sketching style, it really captures the essence of a person or a scene. And it just really inspires me so massively. It's a theme I'm personally picking up on more and more at the moment when I'm looking at Sketch's work and the things that really resonate with me. Things like less is more, um, using things like white space and sketching only the important parts and letting the viewer sort of fill in the rest. That's something that I'm really enjoying at the moment. Okay, so moving on to number two is Katia Tikova. So Katerina or Katia is another accidental discovery while searching for inspirational examples of people sketching over the last several months. She's uh, an illustrator from Russia, but she lives in Amsterdam. And on sort of further checking and reading about Katia, I found that she's actually an instructor for sketchbook school. So I believe she teaches in the color pencil course. I haven't taken that course, but I watched the trailer just before uh, recording this video and it does look super fun. And she's also the co-organizer of an event called Sketch and Breakfast in Amsterdam. I think they meet up in a different cafe every Friday morning and it just encourages creative people to kind of meet up and sketch over breakfast, basically. So that's really nice. Another great thing that I learned about Katya is that she was actually a TV journalist. And she, you know, she was fully on, on television and presented the news and things like that, which is pretty cool. And in 2016, she actually decided to change her career completely and focus on children's book illustration. So she's also a self-taught illustrator. I find people who change career as well as self-taught people super inspirational. It just makes me feel like, you know, you don't have to have everything figured out and people can change what they do. I myself have two degrees and worked as a HR professional and now now look at what what I'm doing. And it just shows that people can learn things by themselves and that you don't need to go to like a fancy university and spend loads of money and train for years. Like if you're motivated and you work hard and you really want it, you can do anything. And I do honestly believe that. This is a massive side note, but I <laughs> we're watching MasterChef a lot recently, so um, it's just in my mind. But I find MasterChef contestants fascinating I love to see what they currently do, like what their current profession is, but they've discovered and are like owning their passion for food and that all they want to do is become a chef. So, I mean, you get all sorts of people. You've got like professional orchestral musicians, there's doctors, there's lawyers, so many lawyers. I like strange uh, medical students and even a fighter pilot. I just think that I find people's backstories and listening to what's led them to this point of discovering a passion for something else just really motivates me. And I actually probably find it more fascinating than the cooking itself. So Katya has a wonderful portfolio over on Behance that you can browse through. She's got a beautiful, whimsical style reminiscent of children's books. And I now understand, since discovering that she does in fact illustrate children's books, that's where her style comes from. She uses really bold shapes and bright colors to sketch stylized people. Okay, the next person I want to mention is Will Freeborn. I have been a fan of Will's for a really long time, to be honest, but he's just recently popped back into my consciousness as I've been absorbing myself into people sketching so much lately. And I actually had to go back and check my other video because I'm certain I would have mentioned him in that first video about people sketches. And I was surprised to find that I didn't. So 
I really wanted to include him here. So Will's style of people sketching is more realistic than the previous sketches I've mentioned in this video. I love his clean lines and this is coupled with his muted tones. And I was sort of reading a bit more about Will and when asked in an interview about his people sketching, he said the following. It started off as something I do on my daily commute, drawing people on the train. I date every page and try and draw something for each day just to get into the habit of drawing, making it a part of my life. When I first started off, the sketches were much rawer and true to the occasion. I'd just draw then and there and add a bit of colour, then post them later that day. As time's gone on, I've changed my approach to do a rough sketch on site, making notes, then working up a drawing later at home from this and photo references. I may have lost an immediacy from showing the on-site drawings, but for me it's more important to make an image I'd like to show. Processes have changed from even adding quick watercolour washes that used to take a few seconds to taking the time to try and render form and light. It's a trade-off that I'm happy to take. So I love how his people sketching habit has actually developed into kind of an art form. Um, so, you know, he's moved on from the sketches themselves being the art, and now he actually does more sort of polished pieces that he works on from home. I just find that very interesting. And I really love Will's sense of structure when he's drawing people, as well as his use of white space and leaving certain parts of the page with sort of negative space or the barest of details. I enjoy these illustrations he did at a friend's wedding they're just really, really beautiful. On a side note, it seems that wedding illustrations are becoming more of a thing now. Perhaps in addition to a photographer, couples seem to hire an illustrator to do, to do some re reportage at the event as well, which I think is just so interesting and so cool. I do know of a few sketches that do offer this as a service, and I just think it's such an interesting thing to be able to do or offer. So... If any of you are looking for a little side gig out there and you're good at people sketching, start uh, start drawing at weddings. Okay, the next sketcher I would like to mention, or should I say illustrator really, I'm sure some of you have heard of her, is Victoria Semikina. So Victoria is also Russian. Uh, she lives in Italy where she graduated from the Bologna Academy of Fine Arts. And she's a professional illustrator and has worked with huge clients such as New Yorker, uh, Google, Airbnb, Tate Modern, Starbucks, Penguin, <laughs> like really big clients. She has a love of observing people and apparently is also obsessed with ships, which I found was quite an interesting fact. Um, she's got a super playful approach to illustration. When I see her work, I feel like it just busts open my mind to the possibilities that illustration has. As some of you know, especially if you're a patron, I'm really trying to break the chains of being literal with my sketching. And browsing the work of illustrators like Victoria is really helping me to do that. I really enjoy the characters that Victoria creates. She sketches both from her photos and also from life as well. And she works on a lot of children's books. So I think that comes through even when she's doing her people sketching out on the streets. I, I think she must have like a wonderfully vivid imagination. And this just comes through in spades in her work. I really love her use of bright, bold color and her loose lines and her exaggerated proportions of the figure it just works so well. It's like she can portray the actual personality of a person through parts of the body or face she chooses to exaggerate. I just can't get enough of her work and I can understand why she works with so many high profile clients and she's also won a number of awards as well. Finally, I would like to mention Tony Grogan. So I was introduced to his work since moving to South Africa. Tony's in his 80s now, but during his working life, he was an editorial illustrator for a newspaper in Cape Town. He has several published books of his sketches from various parts of South Africa over the years, and they are just an absolute joy to look at. Unfortunately, they're out of print though, but I, I have managed to get my hands on two of his books. One is of Cape Town and one is of the province of the Eastern Cape. I'm particularly drawn to Tony's style. He's so loose and he sketches in, it, it looks like pencil, but I don't think it probably is. Maybe it's like a Conte pencil or something. I'm not sure, but then he uses pretty muted washes of watercolor over the top. Now, if you know me and you've watched some of my videos, you're probably aware of how much I harp on about how important contrast is. 
But in Tony's work, there isn't actually much contrast at all, but it still completely works and it's super, super awesome to look at. I wonder if it's because all of his sketches are done completely on location and he works probably quite quickly. So there's not really time to add layers or mess around building up contrast and that kind of thing. He's just there with his sketchbook to capture and report a moment in time and then he moves on. That's the feeling I get. So I want to draw your attention to Tony's people sketching. Again, totally done on the spot and in the moment. The way he catches movement with such lively pencil lines and also the way he caricatures people as well, their bodies and or their faces. I think he, he was actually referred to as a cartoonist, so maybe that's where that comes from. I've tried to look up uh, stuff about Tony, but it's there's really seems to be quite limited information that I can find, really. So Tony also writes interesting captions underneath his sketches, and this kind of resonates with me because I recently made a book, well, an ebook about my sketches through my travels around South Africa. And I enjoyed writing funny little, you know, short anecdotes about things that happened to us on the road. And when I read Tony's book, I kind of feel like he's the same. He's just like, draw, you know, writing funny little th comments here and there about, about what he was doing and what he was seeing and stuff at the time. So I just really like that. He's such an inspiration. I love looking at South Africa and its people over the years through his eyes. I wish the books weren't out of print because I just want to have all of them. I think he's got about seven. So I'm just going to keep my eyes open and see if I can find some secondhand anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. And I hope this has inspired you to go and check out uh, some of these people sketches as well as find your own favorites. Do come and check out peoplesketching.com. I'd really love to have you over there. And I'm going to be building on it, you know, constantly adding more clips, adding more features and just, yeah, hoping to build a little corner of the internet there that's going to help people practice their people sketching skills. So other than that, I hope you have a great week ahead and I will see you soon.